it is number two in 7.1, let X be normally distributed with mean 54 and standard deviation of, this, of 11. Use the given mean and standard deviation to fill the boxes. The, the first row represents the X distribution, while the second row represents the, the, um, the mean distribution. Okay. Construct the, dis the, the mean distribution um, using sample size n equals four. So this is definitely, the, the, they're focused on the distribution of the sample mean. And so the, the mean of the, of the original, dis well, the mean of the sampling distribution, I, 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 use, I use this notation mu sub with the X bar, is equal to the mean of the original distribution. So that's just, it doesn't change. They call that the parent distribution, the 54. Just 54 in this case. So 54 should be right here in the middle. Now the mm -hmm. standard deviation of the of this sampling distribution of the distribution mean of the of the of the mean. This is equal to the standard deviation of the original parent parent population divided by the square root of n. Sound familiar? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And so then we take this 11 and we divide by the square root of n four. The square root of four is, and that's two. So the it's it's equal to eleven over two, and we might be better off if we leave it as a fraction. No, I think we'll we'll just turn this to decimal. Isn't it? Oh, it's four point five, right? No, 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 five point five. Do you, are you are you do you have any questions yet? So how did you get from go from eleven? Uh, over four to 11 over two? Because um, the, the formula says you have to take the original standard deviation and you have to divide it by the square root of N. And the square root mm -hmm. is, is a, it's a function that asks, it asks what number multiplied by itself gave me this four? And you can just, you know, if that doesn't make any sense to you, you can just use your calculator and and, and put four square root and it'll give you two. Are you okay with that? Or like, you know, it, there's another one like the square root of a hundred. Well, basically the square root yeah. function, it undoes squaring. So like we know how to square a number like 10 to this 10 squared, that's a hundred. But if I wanted to undo and take that square off, then I can do the, the opposite operation is the square root. And it takes the square off and takes me back to the original 10. Hmm. All right, so and so just to get in mind to get an idea, the square root of nine is three because three times three is nine. And the square root of um, 49 is seven. And the square root of 81 is nine. Are you okay with the square root function? Sandra, can you hear me? Sandra, can you hear me? I think you froze there. Are you okay with the, the square root function? 
Oh, oh, unmute. I said, I think, I think you might be muted. Oh yes, you are muted. No wonder why. I'm like, I'm like ah. Oh, okay, I'm good. <laughs> Sorry, I have a horrible, horrible Wi-Fi out here. No, it's okay. Are you okay with this square root function? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And if if you're if you're if it's still like a lot of people with square root, it really bothers them. They feel like I need to divide by two. I need to divide by two. It's like an instinct. And it's, honestly, it's an instinct of mine too. But if you don't like that square root, square root problem, you can always just use your calculator, you know, like to, okay, what is the square root of four? And your calculator will always tell you. So it's, it's not a big deal. Don't let that block you. Right. So it's not necessarily the, so I don't, I can't necessarily enter just like that into my calculator, right? I, you, I would ha I'll have to like, assume that it's a two instead of a four. Um, well, the, 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 the symbol that tells us that we need to make it into a two is this little hood on the four, the check mark and hood. That means, you know, I, 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 I see that and it's like, oh, I need to simplify that further. And that's why I changed it to a two. But a lot of times your calculator will just let you put it exactly in that format. It'll accept it a lot of times. Just put 11 divided by square root four and then put that where you put your standard deviation and it'll probably be fine. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. Um, um, just um, give me one minute. Hold on, hold on a second. I'll be right back. I was adding to to fifty or the my my mean, adding to them all the way. And um, hold on, I'll be right back. <laughs> 